So, hi. Welcome to this process vlog of Tomoot. My process vlog as walking this earth in self-honesty, self-responsibility and looking at how I have been living this phenomena of having a perceived righteousness playing playing out a perceived righteousness with as myself making myself feel blessed or valid or validating my 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 need to 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 uh, to judge others or judge things i mean one of the things that is the, is the bother of this world is suppression, oppression, violation of human rights, violation of animal rights, violation of all these things that is like suppression, control, surveillance, military, etc. There are things that in general they make life harder for most people. Make, th make life Difficult by restricting us to you do this, za, 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 control, 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 fill in this form, do this, be there, do that, say such, act like this, think like this, act like this, structuring us into, into this sort of pre made shapes of matrix pre programming, what have you. So I see that. I have been living a perceived righteousness within and as myself. I see that I can judge like I can judge porn or shoplifting or driving too fast or tax evasion or I judge things within my external life external world life for bad and wrong and sick and sorry and such. Uh, When, when there is no right and wrong, there is no right and there is no wrong, there is no, there, I mean, there is no truth, there is only denial of what is here, there is only denial of what is here, there is no genuine truth, there is only denial of what is here. A uh, very smart man said that, Bernard Pullman said that. Bernard Pullman said that. There is no truth, there is only denial of what is here. So who am I to judge a shoplifter, or a weed smoker, or a porn addict, or, or a man who drives too fast? Why should I judge them? Why, what rights do I have to judge them? Thinking that I have this perceived righteousness, I'm charmed, what I can do, I can do this, I can be that. And they give making up this idea of a belief, making up this belief within myself that I am I am superior to that. I am greater than such. I know better. I'm more important. Making up this belief be live. Living this lie of being a perceived righteousness, being this person, very important, I can judge this and judge that, thinking in my head, judging myself and judging others, judging things, judging crimes, whatever, when there is no real truth, there is only denial of what is here. Creating all these back chats within my head, telling me that that, that's, that is bad, that is bad, that is dumb, that is making all these judgments about people and about institutions and about things that goes on in this world and cling, cling, clinging on to my perceived righteousness, feeling blessed, feeling whatever spiritual or, or, or in a belief. And there's a big catch to belief. Be, lie, ve. Living a fucking lie. Plain and fucking simple. So why should I judge anything for any matter? I mean, I have no reason to judge, so I should not judge. There should be no, there should be no people who judge others, really, because we, because there is no basis for it. I mean, there's all these laws and regulations and restrictions, but 
But uh, but how? Why should anybody judge another being? That is not that is not fair or cool or acceptable, any matter. Still, I have been living within this program. I've been living with this programmed belief reality within myself, thinking that thinking that I can I can perceive myself to a higher consciousness or some bullshit like that, thinking that I'm special, I can judge shoplifter or porn addicts or weed smokers or people who tax, run from taxes, judge them and criticize them and think less of them. Because I give myself this perceived righteousness, thinking that I am better, I am more, I'm more special, more unique, and so on. Uh, so it's all based on this belief that I know better than, I am far greater than. And that is a belief, that is a belief system of the belief uh, idea, the concept of believing something. Believing something is not only believing in a God. Believing something is also believing that I can judge this because of that. I, can, I believe that I, that I can, that I can uh, go to the supermarket tomorrow and buy carrots. I believe that I can... That's a belief. A belief is always be lie, we're living a lie. It's plain and simple words. There's, there's nothing to discuss about that. We, we can discuss it, but if you look at the word, it says be live. The coding is so fucking simple, you can't fucking miss it. It's like the greatest graffiti piece or tag piece we'll ever see. Be live. You're believing yourself to be greater, to be more supreme or whatever than others. You're living this life of, of, of giving yourself blessings or perceived righteousness over others, over other people, over institutions, over phenomena, over life. So I've been living in this perceived righteousness and uh, I realized that it's time that I figure this out, figure out this perceived righteousness, let, let it go of it, and, uh, and, and sort of leave it behind. There is no right, there is no, there is no right and wrong. There is no right and wrong. There is, of course there is, a, there is, exist, there exists today abuse in this world. Yes, there does. Lots of it from A to C. But, that abuse is all, all programs. It is programming and, I mean, it's, it's humans doing mistakes, sort of. It's human deliberately or undeliberately doing mistakes from programming, from living in the system of mind, from not being liberated from mind, from slaving the energies back and forth, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, within and as the mind, within the cell. And there goes down abuse from living in that cell, giving um, enslaving to mind and or whatever. There is no right and there is no wrong. There is no. There is no truth. There is only what is denial of what is here. So. Yeah. We must investigate all things and keep that which is good. Investigate all things and keep that which is good. Make sure this world is suitable and livable for everybody. All life, not just ourself. Make sure this place is suitable and livable for everybody, not just ourselves within our own bubble. And step down from that belief system of perceived righteousness and come to conclusion with how to live practically every day here and now living breathing being aware living words living solutions explaining solutions and living solutions living the matter living the change that one would like to see Thank you very much. That's a process vlog. Thank you very much.